uh, sound engineering about 15 years ago. Started off with Dave Stewart from Eurythmics, that was my first job. Did a couple of years with him, mainly studio, bit of live work. Then moved away from there, opened a studio in East London. Um, went pretty well for a couple of years, the Olympics arrived. We had to move out of the building, so I did less and less studio work from then on. Mainly did live work. Um, and since I've been sort of balancing about 50-50 between the two, live and studio. When Arthur Jeffs re reignited the Penguin Cafe idea, um, they needed someone to look after front of house sound and work in the studio with them. So David approached me and said, got this complicated project, you might be the right man for it. We've got some traditional stuff, like we've got piano, um, violin, viola, cello. Acoustic guitar, electric guitar. And then we've got some weirder stuff like ukulele. We've got a couple of quattros, which is South American four string miniature guitars in the sort of ukulele family. The harmonium, which is very much a Penguin Cafe signature. Um, we've got lots of little toys, sort of prayer bells, um, some strange percussion, we've got a thing called a zebra drum, which is a South African um, hand drum that we're using as a kick, kick drum, you know, a bass drum here. Um, washboard, yeah, all sorts of toys. When I started working with the penguins, obviously having quite a large straw, you know, strings are a significant part of the sound. Getting a string sound was a loud enough string sound on big stages like festivals was proving a massive problem. So we were using a mixture of contact mics and uh, traditional condensers overheads. And it was never right. The guys weren't happy on stage because either feedback or strain, you know, that horrible squawky sound you get from pickups. I was struggling out front for similar reasons. I'd heard DPA were releasing these things called 4099s that looked interesting. I tried them out and just went, bloody hell, these are brilliant really change what we can do. I mean, you get that full, natural instrument sound, but with volume. We also have got a pair of 4015s on the piano, which is the wide cardioid mics that just sound incredible. We use them on this particular piano, the Bluthner, that Arthur has for the studio that we've also, also bought, bought here for the concert. So this is actually our studio setup that we're using live. We've got a pair of 2011s over the percussion as overheads. And they're just great, you know, you've got real directionality, they've got good side rejection, but they're really natural sounding. Um, you don't need to particularly key very heavily with them. They're just, what you throw at them comes out, and they haven't got that problem with a lot of overheads do, especially with small, small diaphragms, where you have, they just get over fizzy. These are actually, they're not dark, but they've just got a real natural sweetness about them. Generally, in a room, a, you know, well-treated acoustic space, you know, decent, decent live, live space, a high-pass filter, and pretty much that's it. The only time you really need to EQ is to correct fail, failures in the instrument. In an ideal world, with these mics, you pretty much just need to dial up a bit of high-pass, and you're 99% you're there.